Watching this video will help you learn how to scan triple tray impressions. This type of workflow may be useful for modelless full anatomy crown production. It will save your time and resources on model production. At the same time, it allows dentists who are not yet Trios users to join modelless digital production. Start with order creation. On the dental chart, select the tooth and on the indications list, the type of restoration you wish to produce. Then in Scan Settings, change Object Type to Impression and in Tray System, select the Triple Tray Type. You can choose between the anterior or posterior type. In our case, we will use anterior. Once the order is ready, click Scan. The software will automatically move you to the Scanit Dental Scanning Engine, where your scanning steps will be indicated on the workflow bar. You can follow these steps or decide on your own scanning order. The overview window will display scanning information. While scanning impressions, you have the possibility to scan with the use of an impression fixture or without. Scanning without an impression fixture can be done using Bluetack the same way you would use it for plaster models. To change between those two options, unmark or mark the option box. In this video, we will show you the workflow for triple tray scanning with an impression fixture. The first step is to scan the upper jaw impression then the lower jaw impression. You can follow these steps or decide on your own scanning order. If you use the D2000 scanner, insert the impression on the left side of the scanner. Always insert the impression in the way shown in the overview window. Once the impressions are in the scanner, click Next to start scanning. The scanner will first make an initial scan on which you should place annotations. Once done, the scanner will automatically start detailed scanning. When the scan is ready and red areas occur on crucial parts of the impression, you can enable the Adaptive Scanning option. The Adaptive Scanning option can be used for both the Restoration and Antagonist impression scan. It will allow you to rescan selected areas. Just mark the parts of the scan that should be rescanned and click Next. The scanner will rescan it. When ready, you have the possibility to trim it to reduce the amount of data that will be carried over to dental system. Use either line mode for that or selection. If you are using line mode, just place points until you go around the whole desired area. When you use selection mode, paint over the area of interest, use shift and the mouse scroll in combination to change the radius of the tool. When you have made your selection, click next. Now remove the impression fixture from the scanner and flip over the part of the fixture that holds the triple tray to be able to scan the antagonist. Then insert it into the scanner according to the information in the overview window and click Next to start scanning. Once the scan is ready, click Next to be able to trim it. When you have made your selection, click Next to move on to automatic alignment of both scans. Also at that stage, you have the possibility to do that manually using one or three point alignment. In the manual alignment, one point alignment is the default option. Place a point on the bite impression scan and then in the corresponding place on the upper jaw scan. The scans will align. When ready, click next to see the scans in occlusion and save the scans. Now you can click design to move to Dental Designer. Thank you for watching.